Welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus. It is the 7th of November 2023 and I am your guide to everything crypto, Nikki Oshini, taking you through the headline. First on the roller coaster, a bold move in the US, a lawmaker is stirring up the SEC pot, proposing to slash the SEC chair's salary to mere one dollar. Why do you ask? The drama unfolds. Next up on our global tour, Kazakhstan speeds up. Find out the inside scoop on why they've slammed the door on Coinbase. But hold on to your hats as Kenya is making waves. The Blockchain Association is handed a script to draft the country's first ever crypto bill. What could this mean for the Kenyan's crypto future? And now, a scene changed to the world of data. Glassnode, the crypto intelligence maestro, is making moves as they're selling their Bitcoin tax software in a deal shrouded in mystery. Back on the roller coaster, as Ava Labs is streaming the crew by 12%, what is the master plan behind this strategic move? Then we've got upcoming blockchain events and more to come. Quickly on the market trades today, Bitcoin is at $34,000, Ethereum is at $1,800, BNB is at $245, Solana is at $41, and the dollar to naira rates is at 904 naira to a dollar. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. In a bold move, a United States lawmaker is aiming to give Securities and Exchange Commission Chair Gary Gensler a major pay cut. How major, you might ask? Well, it's just $1 per year. That's right. Buckle up for this roller coaster ride of a proposal. As Representative Team Budget is suggesting that Gensler's salary be reduced to a mere $1 as part of an ambitious plan to defund the SEC. This proposal is part of a larger bill aiming to reduce government spending across the board. It's esteemed that Gensler currently earns a hefty six-figure salary, but Budget is looking to shake things up. Then there's more. This bill isn't just targeting the SEC as it aims to drastically cut funding to several government agencies. Representative Steve Womack, while presenting the bill to the House Rules Committee, expressed concerns about regulatory overreach and the financial burden these agencies impose on the government. The goal, defunding the SEC to decrease its regulatory intrusiveness and refocus the agency on its core mission. Well, as if that was wasn't enough, the Office of the Inspector General OIG of the SEC has released its annual examination of the agency's management and performance challenges. And guess what? Crypto made the list. No surprise right there for the crypto community, of course. The OIG highlighted the lack of disclosure and widespread non-compliance with existing securities laws by crypto asset market participants. They also emphasized the need for comprehensive legislation and integrity coordination in regulating crypto assets that are not securities and certain stable coins. So I guess we've got to get ready to witness the clash between lawmakers, regulators and the crypto world. But will Gary Gensler accept the one third salary? <laughs> How will the SEC handle the ongoing challenges related to crypto assets? We just have to find out. Next up, the Ministry of Culture and Information in the Republic has just dropped a bombshell. It appears that they've officially slammed the door on the Coinbase website in the country. I mean, it's not just a hiccup as they've been at it since at least September, blocking local IP addresses left and right and assessing Coinbase. The last scoop, fresh from November 7th report by the local media Kuziv, spills the beans on the whole issue. According to them, the Ministry of Culture and Information threw it down the gauntlet, officially locking access to Coinbase. But here's the plot twist. The move to block access to Coinbase came from the Ministry of Digital Development. They're actually the ones accusing Coinbase of breaking the rules set in the law on the digital assets. Now let's take a quick dive into the nitty gritty of this law as it made its grand entrance in February 2023, putting strict regulations in place, ensuring that digital currencies cannot be easily traded or exchanged without a national license. And who holds the golden ticket to this exclusive club? 
none other than Astana International Financial Center, AIFC, calling the shots in the special economic zone of Kazakhstan. So to sum it up, the Ministry of Culture and Information just played their trump card. The Ministry of Digital Development called foul on Coinbase. And now we've got a front row seat to the clash of regulations and crypto in Kazakhstan. This ride is just getting started. Traveling to Africa, we've got some fascinating news coming from Kenya. It seems like Kenya is making history by paving the way for industry experts to actively shape the regulatory landscape for cryptocurrencies. Imagine that. So here's a scoop. The Blockchain Association of Kenya BAC revealed that the National Assembly's Departmental Committee on Finance and National Planning has taxed them with preparing the initial draft of what might soon become a groundbreaking bill for virtual asset service providers. Now that's a big deal. In a meeting held on the 31st of October, representatives from BAC had a chat about regulating digital assets. Alan Kakai, BAC's legal and policy director, spilled the beans to the local media, Mariblock. According to him, paraphrasing, of course, we're basically telling the parliament, hey, Kenya is known as the Silicon Savannah. We're right up there in the top three for digital assets in Africa. But if we don't create clear rules and regulations, countries like Nigeria, South Africa, Botswana, Namibia, and Mauritius might steal our thunder. We don't want that, do we? Well, in response to this concern, the committee has given back the green light and two months to draft the groundbreaking cryptocurrency bill. And guess what? They're not stopping there. The committee also stressed the importance of educating the public about cryptocurrency trading as well. It's all about clearing up the confusion and making sure everyone understands the ins and outs of this existing new world of digital assets, of course. Looks like Kenya is taking a bold step forward into the future of finance and we'll definitely be keeping an eye on how this story unfolds. Also, big news in the crypto intelligence world, folks. As Glassnow, the cryptocurrency intelligence powerhouse, just made a strategic pivot. Now hold on to your seats because they're stepping away from the cryptocurrency tax game to dive headfast into the realms of international investors and decentralized finance, DeFi. Here's a scoop. On the 6th of November, Glassnow spilled the beans, announcing that they're bidding farewell to their cryptocurrency tax platform acquainting. And guess who's stepping up to the plate? None other than the European cryptocurrency compliance maestro, Blockpit. Now they're keeping their exact numbers under wraps, but let's just say it's a multi-million dollar deal, big lease stuff. Glassnode will exit the crypto tax space with the sale of acquainting to Blockpit. Why the shift? Turns out Glassnode is gearing up to roll out brand new digital asset intelligence solutions and they're setting their sights on the institutional playground. In other words, the Glassnode representative said this. After having built the leading on-chain data platform for Bitcoin and Ethereum, we're currently expanding our product offering into DeFi. Our claim is to equip institutions with DeFi data and tools that help them to trade in and navigate the DeFi space. So there you have it, Glassnode is shaping the game and passing the crypto tax torch and also gearing up to conquer the world of institutional insights and DeFi adventures. Stay tuned as Glassnode charts a new course in the ever-evolving landscape of crypto intelligence. Wrapping up our news today, Ava Labs, the team behind the popular Avalanche blockchain, has announced a recent round of layoffs affecting 12% of its workforce. The decision, confirmed by the firm's founder and CEO, Emin Gunsir, on the 7th of November comes as part of a strategic move to reallocate resources. Gensir emphasized the necessity of this reduction, stating this. This reduction in workforce affected 12% of Ava Labs and allows us to reallocate resources to double down on the growth of our firm and Avalanche ecosystem. He also acknowledged the challenges posed by beer markets, but reassured that Ava Labs is well equipped to navigate these difficulties with a substantial runway and ample resources at its disposal. With a total of 335 employees, according to LinkedIn, it's estimated that around 40 people within Ava Labs were impacted. 
Garrison Yang, the company's vice president of growth and strategy, hinted that a significant portion of layoffs occurred within the marketing team. What does this mean for Ava Labs marketing strategies moving forward? Only time will tell. Finally, on blockchain events to come on Metaverse Summit 2023. From the 8th to the 9th of November 2023, the On Metaverse Summit is a gathering of professionals from various fields to discuss the latest trends and uses of Metaverse technology. The event will cover virtual worlds, VR, AR, sensors and wearables, AI, Web3 and blockchain. It includes conference rooms, an expo area, exhibitors, keynotes, discussions, demos, tutorials, entertainment, satellite events, a talent fair, and a party. And that's a wrap for today's crypto journey here on Crypto TV Plus, but wait, it doesn't end there. For a deeper dive into the dynamic world of blockchain and cryptocurrency, head over to our website, cryptotvplus.com. For more exciting updates and in-depth market insights, you can also follow us on our Facebook and X at Crypto TV Plus for a daily dose of crypto highlights. And if you are a visual explorer, catch us on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus. The journey continues with the front row seat to all our engaging programs. But hold on tight, there's a golden key to staying in the loop. Subscribe to our YouTube and click on that notification bell. Of course, don't miss on the next chapter in our crypto narrative. Share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below to keep the dialogue alive. The future is shaping up and you don't want to miss it. Thank you for being part of our crypto thrill. I'm Nikki Oshini and I'll see you next time.